Free Warp is a tool in Cubase that allows you to make timing adjustments to your audio at different points in the waveform. I prefer using Free Warp to other time adjustment tools such as Quantize because it's a manual process that allows you to make your timing adjustments while preserving the character, tone, and transients of your audio. So let's get started with Free Warp. The first thing you'll need to do is enable the feature in Cubase. So make sure in your project window, that this left zone is active. If it's not, you come up to the top right here and click the show hide left zone button. Once you've done that, you can double click on your audio and it'll open the lower zone to the editor where you can see your waveform. And then also in your left zone, you have a couple drop downs available to you now. You'll need to go to audio warp and then click the free warp enable icon here. Now that we have free warp enabled, let's go ahead and start making some timing adjustments to our audio. For demonstration purposes, I have a guitar vocal for a demo that I'm working on for a country song, and it consists of an acoustic guitar pan to the left, another acoustic guitar pan to the right, and a vocal in the middle. And when there's double-tracked acoustic guitars on a demo like this, I like to have one guitar that's played a little bit more ahead of the beat, while the other is played a little bit behind, so it creates this wide beat area for the vocalist to play around with. But there's a part in the song where the two guitars stray a little bit too far away from each other, and I want to bring them back in and tighten the timing up a little bit. So I'll give you a preview so you can hear what I'm talking about. Always stay the same you can call it home even if you never come back go ahead and take your now you might have heard that this guitar this chord is a little bit behind the beat and if you're listening on headphones it was panned left so i want to bring this one chord up in time and i'll be doing that work down here in the lower region editor the basic building block of audio warping in Cubase is an element called a warp marker. And when you're using the free warp tool, you create warp markers yourself. So I come to the start of this chord, I take my mouse, I hover over where I wanna put a warp marker, and then I click. And there's my first warp marker. To move a warp marker, you'll hover over it, so the color changes from this orange gold to this white, and then you click and you drag. You can drag to the left, you can drag to the right. Now I need to point out that when you create your first warp marker here, Cubase will auto-generate warp markers at the start of your audio event and at the end of the audio event. And these two auto-generated warp markers act like anchor points. What I mean by that is when I take this warp marker that I've made, I click and I drag it, it'll push all the audio before the warp marker and compress it towards my event start warp marker and stretch it away from the event end warp marker. And when I pull this warp marker back, the opposite happens. My goal is to just to adjust the timing of this one chord. This is not going to do it. So what I need to do is create anchor points that are closer to the chord that I am editing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this warp marker by holding Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and hovering and clicking just so I can reset it back to where it was. And so I'm gonna create my anchor points here. So I go to the chord before the one I want to edit, which should be right here, zoom in, and at the start of that chord, I create my first anchor point. Then I go to the end of the chord that I'm editing, the beginning of the next chord, and I create another warp marker to act as my ending anchor point. Then I can go to the chord I wanna change the timing of, create a warp marker at the start of that one, and then click and drag it in time. So now instead of affecting the entire audio segment, it's only affecting what's directly around it between these two anchor points here and here. So as you notice, if I go really extreme with it, it condenses the audio here and stretches here. So now I'm just going to slightly adjust this, maybe a little bit more. You might notice that up here it reflects the changes I've made below. And let's preview how that sounds. We stay the same. You can call it home. And now that feels a little bit tighter. It still has a wide beat area. I don't want them exactly on top of each other, but it sounds like they're playing together in the same room at the same time, which is my goal. And so that's all I have for you on this quick intro video for free warping. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will have more Cubase related videos for you in the future. Thank you.